Hey everybody, Brian here. Today is Wednesday the 12th and we've got the Fed coming up in about an hour and 15 minutes. So I wanted to make a quick little lesson about the volume weighted average price in particular with the S&P 500 futures and the SPY and the difference between the two. So I posted on Twitter earlier this morning uh, right here uh, just as the market had opened I had posted this saying the VWAP from the CPI is worth noting because what we had seen and let's look at the live chart it posted it right here and what we often see is from an event we have price memory. We saw the market shoot up it tested that VWAP rallied from it came back, tested again, and rallied from it. This is what I talk about in my book, is that we want to buy strength after uh, it touches on the VWAP, not the touch, because it could fail there. Now, it didn't today, uh, but this was a safe purchase. At the same time, the SPY, let's take a look there, was below the volume-weighted average price. It wasn't till here that it got back above the volume-weighted average price for the session. So that kind of confirmed that the cash market was in alignment with the futures. Let's go back to those futures, because you can see right now at the same exact time, this is uh, 12, uh, 1245 Eastern, 1246, we've just tested the anchor from that move. And whereas on the SPY, you can see we've been crossing back and forth above and below. What's the difference? Well, the futures traded a lot more volume at that time, and that's why we have a more accurate reading of what the true sentiment of the market is. Someone had also asked me, saying, looks like you anchored a, you know, to the minute of uh, uh, 829, uh, not 820, not 830. It doesn't really matter. You're going to see the same exact thing. I put it on that bar because that's, in my mind, where the movement began right there, that larger bar. But you can see by moving it one bar forward or backwards, it's not really going to make a difference. And the whole point is I'm not ever trying to buy the touch of the volume-weighted average price. I'm trying to buy strength after. And that way, I know I can set my stop underneath here. So let's go back to the SPY. How can we compensate? Can we look at the... Uh, anchored volume weighted average price from the pre-market and still see the same thing well a little bit but not really so early this morning we saw that the anchor from the uh, CPI did hold while the cash market underwent a little bit of profit taking but then the buyers took control so even here we're not seeing the same clarity if we go back to the uh, overnight session that began right here that's still below us so what is the whole point of this? Well, if you're scalping the S&P 500, if you're trading on these one-minute charts, when we have an overnight active market and there's more volume in the futures, then you want to look at the futures market to even help you time your SPY trades. And again, I'm never trying to buy the touch of the VWAP. Uh, that's in my mind, buying a dip. I want to buy strength after the dip. I want to buy here as it's bouncing. I want to buy maybe here as it's bouncing. I want to buy here as it's bouncing and set my stop underneath the higher low that makes sense to you. So in this case, had you purchased here, you might have been stopped out right at that point, but then you would have got back involved and now you have a profitable trade. Anyways, I hope that helps. It's just uh, to kind of clear up how to use these on a very short-term time frame. And the key is, if you understand how to use them on a very short-term time frame, all the concepts are the same for every single time frame.